mean, you, as you said, it retired as I fell apart. Uh, you just quit one day. Too yeah. much, too, too much pressure on you to to battle through uh, ailments, illnesses. No, I just literally fell apart. It was, it was, it, it wasn't a decision from the mental point of view it was a purely physical point of view that I just had had so many injuries that it, one day I just thought no I just can't take this anymore but back to Chloe's question in terms of the welfare look for me what it comes down to is it, this is a, a collective responsibility here by numerous groups of people and when there's massive amounts of money involved in anything that comes with responsibility you have national governing bodies receiving millions of pounds they're under pressure to deliver performances and medals that then filters down to the people that the national governing bodies employ they need to get the medals, they need to get the job done. That then filters down to the medics and the physios and the doctors. It is their responsibility to get the stars on the pitch or on a track. They may therefore make decisions that they might not make on a normal basis, but it's their job to make sure that Billy John, who's the big, the big wig in the team, is ready and fit. That then filters down to the athletes. They have one opportunity in their life to get this done. I made decisions in my life. There were times when I was popping 1,000 milligrams of ibuprofen every single day for two, three, four days because I had a race to do. That was my opportunity. I had to take it. So I'd make decisions that were based on what I needed to do there and then. Therefore, collectively, you have lots of different people who need to do their jobs to the best level that they can. As you said with Benny, did I think about the, 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 the process afterwards? No, because I'd go to a doctor or medic and say, I need to race. I need to run around a track to earn money. Is this banned? No, it's not. Will I die from it? Probably not. Let's get going, because I need to run in 24 hours. And athletes do that day in and day out. It's not just an abuse in football of painkillers. You are talking collectively around numerous sports, because that is what sports people are doing at this moment in time. What needs to be put in place is structures or personnel to keep an eye on the athletes, well, I think also to ask the questions, to make sure they're in the right frame of mind and the right environment, that they know what they're doing and the pros and cons of doing that action. I think also, David, the question um, mentioned in view...